I hope uh, the sound is good because it's pretty noisy in here. But working on a Komatsu FG, FGS20, I think it is. Let's check it out again. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, it's an FG20S-4. Problem is, crank, no start, no spark. So I went ahead and grabbed one of the uh, power plug cables. Put it got a good ground. First thing I always do is check that. Positive, negative, test light is lit. Make sure I have good ground on that bolt. See, okay, so that's a good ground. Next thing we do is crank it. We'll focus you on that uh, spark plug tester. Nothing. Alright, so we're gonna follow down the line. Next thing I wanna do is see if I have a spark coming off the freaking coil. So coil is right here. Let's take this out. Now well that doesn't look right. Look at that. Okay, that might be our cost. Let's try to see. Lay it down somewhere. Now, maybe around here, just to hold it. So I'm working one-handed here. Go to our ground. Okay, do the test light again. So I'm gonna focus you right here. We get a better angle like this. See what's happening to this. Cranking. That is weak. That is weak. Really weak. That's really weak. I wonder if we have a resistance issue with this cable. Hmm. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do next is go off the actual coil. See right, focus you on that coil. Focus on that coil. See it. Way. I don't know if the camera is going to see that. That cable is going to be in the way. Okay. Let's try to see if we have a spark coming off that coil. Okay, man, that is weak. I don't know if you saw that, but maybe I can put it this way. Lay it on there, possibly. If you can see it, I'm gonna try to crank it. There's spark coming out, but it's not the greatest. Okay, so I went ahead, cleaned up the terminals from the battery. Still wasn't producing good spark, it's still weak, so it's time to bring out the big guns. I took out my oscilloscope, my Pico, so channel A is connected to my uh, amp probe set on the 20 amp scale, and it's going into the uh, battery feed, power supply for my uh, ignition coil, and then on the other side I have my channel B connected to my line to my wire going into my igniter inside it. So what I'm trying to look at or what I'm trying to uh, find out is am I getting the signal from the igniter to fire up that coil? Because like I said, it seems pretty weak. So let's try it cranking it. I'm going to focus you on the screen. 
Okay, my setup, like I said, channel A is set for a 20 amp scale, and channel B is on uh, DC 20 volts on a uh, 20 millisecond sweep. So I'm gonna focus you now while I crank it. Okay. So, there's something that I don't like as far as, man, that's a lot of spike, that's a big spike, but I'm more concerned about why the coil is not, I mean, it's weak, but for all intents and purposes, my voltage from the igniter came up from uh, 12 volts or near and then drops to almost zero so, right here and but my coil it's not shorted you see the ramp and then getting saturated but it only went up to like less than three amps okay let's try to measure put a cursor so we can measure that let's put it in here and man that's only 2.343 amps coming out of that coil so can we consider this a weak coil I think so I'm gonna call this one a uh, bad coil a weak coil all right so I'm gonna order up the parts see if I have something and then let's go back in it. I'm gonna go back in again and do the measurements again. Okay, my bad. Uh, all this time I was talking about igniter and all that. I didn't quite realize right away that it was this is a uh, point, point contact system. Okay, so right now I already installed a new coil on it. So hooked up my amp probe again. Gonna see, uh, try to see if we make any difference as far as the current waveform. So the same setup on a Pico on a 20 millisecond scale, uh, negative five to 10 amps in channel A. Trigger the channel A and try to start it right now. Okay. Okay, now we're getting a speed, and right now the amps is peaking at more than 4 amps, which is almost twice as what we had before. Let me just pause this for a while. So right now you can hear it's already starting. It already started and it's running. But there's something else that I don't like. I don't like this downward spike. Might be an indication of a uh, high secondary resistance. But we were originally called in for a no start. So as far as the original call of a no start, that part is done. We made the right call. It was a weak ignition coil. But like I said, I still don't like this spike going down. But but that's gonna be another story. Cause right now I'm gonna have to ask the uh, customer if he wants me to proceed with this and check it over. Cause that high resistance on the secondary might have been the reason why it blew the coil. So worthwhile checking it out. But like I said, I still have to ask the um, customer if he wants me to proceed with this. And check it over but uh, as far as like I said the uh, no start we're done All right hope you like the video